Andrew Tate BBC interview, influencer challenged on misogyny and rape allegations. Now, the BBC has questioned the controversial social media influencer Andrew Tate at his home in the Romanian capital Bucharest. Tate is under house arrest and being investigated by Romanian prosecutors for accusations including rape, human trafficking and exploiting women, which he denies. The Welcome back to our channel, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we have a thought-provoking topic to discuss that has been making headlines recently. We'll be diving into the controversial Andrew Tate BBC interview, where the influencer was challenged on allegations of misogyny and rape. Before we begin, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. Now, let's get into it. For those of you who may not be familiar with Andrew Tate, he's a well-known social media personality and former kickboxing champion. Recently, he appeared on a BBC interview where he was confronted about some serious accusations. The conversation quickly escalated into a heated debate, making waves across social media platforms. We are doing an interview with you because you're facing some very serious allegations. Let's start with the allegations. Have you raped anybody? Absolutely not. Have you trafficked anybody? Absolutely not. Exploited any women for Absolutely money? Absolutely not. Let me read you then what you have said about sure. what you have done. Sure. You have said, my job was to meet a girl, go on a few dates, sleep with her, get her to fall in love with me to the point where she'd do anything I say and then get her on webcam so we, we could become rich together. Awesome. The I've BBC has spoken to somebody since your arrest who says exactly those things, that with you it's all manipulation, there's an ulterior Is motive to everything you do. Is this Sophie? Done. Has she, has she accused me of a crime, this imaginary Sophie? She's making the point that there is has a she accused me of a crime? emotional or psychological manipulation. I've asked you a question and I've allowed you into my house. I'm asking you a question. Correct, but you're not the boss here because I've allowed you into my house. I'm asking you the question. Correctly, and I'm telling you. you get to as you can see, the interview became quite intense, with the host and Andrew Tate engaging in a passionate exchange of viewpoints. This incident has sparked a massive discussion online with people divided over the appropriateness of the questions asked and Andrew Tate's responses. Now, let's delve into the specific allegations that were raised during the interview. Andrew Tate has faced numerous accusations of misogyny due to his controversial statements on social media platforms. These statements have ignited public outrage and led to calls for his deplatforming. Prosecutors for accusations including rape, human trafficking and exploiting women, which he denies. Because you're facing some very serious allegations. Correct. Rape, human trafficking. Yep. And also because there's a great deal of concern about the things you say. And the, the allegations of misogyny and rape are undeniably serious and demand proper investigation. It's crucial to separate facts from opinions and ensure a fair assessment of the situation. Since the interview aired, it has generated a significant amount of debate and backlash online. Supporters of Andrew Tate argue that the interview was biased and targeted, while others commend the host for holding him accountable. And the impact that they have on young people, on women. I don't think the concerns about the things I say, I think the concern is for the level of influence I have and the reach I have. No. We have an open criminal investigation. I am absolutely not really sure I'll be found innocent. I know the case better than you. I know it intimately and you don't. I have seen all the criminal files and the evidence against me and you haven't. I know the truth of what happens and you don't. And I'm telling you absolutely and utterly, I've never hurt anybody, that the case that's been put against me is completely and utterly fabricated and I'm never going to be found guilty of anything. And it's very difficult for me to answer your in-depth questions because we're sitting here inside of the territory of Romania. I'm beholden to the Romanian legal system and I'm not going to incriminate myself. The intense reaction on social media platforms highlights the importance of open dialogue and respectful debate. It's essential to foster an environment where different perspectives can be shared without descending into personal attacks. And that's a wrap for today's discussion on the Andrew Tate BBC interview. Remember to leave your thoughts and opinions in the comments section below, but let's keep the conversation respectful and constructive. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our future content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.